So once the JCL Plus plugin for RDZ is installed, and you're editing some JCL in the window, and you want to scan the JCL. So you can right click while you're in that edit session, and you'll see JCL Plus, and then the option to check JCL. You click that, and then you'll be pre presented with a window that allows you to select the target LPAR in which you want to scan, enter your user ID and password for that LPAR, and submit. So the results are presented in two different windows. You'll see up on the upper left-hand side the scan results with embedded messages, and in the lower right-hand side you see the summary of all the error messages that were encountered. We go back up to the upper left-hand side and you'll scroll down and you see a particular message that you might be interested in. You can click on that message and it highlights over on the right-hand side where that message occurs in the listing. Uh, scroll down a little bit more and pick another message and, and select that one. And again, it, it highlights it over in the right-hand side with the listing. Also on the right, you'll see uh, on the right-hand side, there are highlighted spots which you can hover over. And when you do that, you see more information about the message. And if you scroll down you'll, and touch on any of those, hover over any of those, it gives you more information about the error that occurred. Now in the right-hand bottom screen is the overview summary of all error messages that occurred. When you select any one of those and click it, now you see the screens change on top. The upper left-hand side was, goes right to the spot that uh, that message occurred in. And again, that part is also highlighted in the JCL listing in the right window. So now let's select another member to scan. We select the member and you'll see the listing shows up on the upper right-hand screen. We go into that listing and if we want to scan, we right click, go down to JCL Plus and check JCL again, and you'll see that we're uh, again able to submit the job to the particular LPAR that we want to. Uh, we wait for the scan to results, come back, and when, when they do, you'll see the screens will change and we'll have uh, the results uh, for this member in the upper left hand listing, uh, just as uh, the result listing as you saw before in the previous member. And also in the bottom right, you will see the, uh, the cumulative uh, message listings. Now, the, those, that list of messages on the level right now is essentially cumulative, as I said, for both of the two members that were scanned. In the upper portion of the top right screen, you see tabs now. So you can now switch between the two members that you had scanned. When you switch between the two, you can see the results and compare on the left-hand uh, window and see what the various messages are and you'll have the ability to click and, and choose and, and uh, varying degrees of, of errors that occurred between uh, the two members. And also, again, going down to the bottom cumulative, you'll be able to see if you want to remember uh, errors from one or the other and you'll, uh, uh, as you click on those, it's the screen, the perspective screens change and you can view either of the contents of the JCL listings. Also, the error listings contain more information about the errors to the right, like, for example, where the error occurred and, and also on which host you chose to do the scan.